Alright guys, it's my first video here for the uh, the real estate vlog. Just to give you a little bit of an overview about myself. I'm 26 years old, my name is Casey Wooten. I'm from San Clemente, California. I work in real estate here in uh, San Clemente, California. And um, yeah, I just got this idea from watching a couple of their vlogs on YouTube and uh, just kind of, I guess, being bored at at this open house in particular and just thought I would give it a shot so uh, appreciate any feedback positive or negative I got thick skin you gotta have thick skin to work in this industry so uh, yeah let me know what you guys think give me a thumbs up on the like leave me uh, any comments any feedback that you want to give me but uh, yeah let's let's launch right into it so here we are at 90 Marbella in the uh, Sea Points Estates it's a private gated community 24 hour gated community with uh some nice nice hoa amenities like a pool jacuzzi tennis courts it's got a few dog um dog parks things like that some nice community landscaping um stuff like that and uh, it's about two to three hundred higher end homes that range from you know 2500 square feet all the way up to six seven eight, nine, ten thousand square feet. Um, there's still some vacant lots. A lot of the homes were built around the 90s still uh, with some that have been built in the late 2000s and uh, some, some that are just being recently finished up. So they're all kind of situated on the hillside. A lot of them have great ocean views. And uh, yeah, so here's a little shot of the neighborhood here. The vacant land right there, vacant lots about 7,000 square feet. I think they want 750 for it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give you a tour of the house, um, point out some things. This particular home is very detail oriented, and uh, just as you guys know, this is my first shot at it, so hopefully, it'll get better. And uh, I'm not going to get better without any feedback and criticism and giving me your thoughts. So uh, please, please do. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what you guys think. Okay, so starting, we have this cool carport here. You can drive in, park underneath. Um, and then the driveway continues that way to a three-car garage. Entryway is real formal, pretty... Uh, has, kind of has that wow factor. It's got these 30 foot ceilings here in the foyer, elegant staircase. We got the piano right now. If you look up, there's a cool skylight, big windows. This place is very well naturally lit. So to my right here is uh, the living room. We got a custom fireplace, all new windows, custom windows. Um, this is one of those rooms that your mom and your grandma and your dad and everyone usually doesn't let you sit in, right? Uh, this is the room that you use maybe two times a year for Christmas and uh, maybe another holiday. But every proper higher-end home's got to have one, and this is this one's. So uh, it's got the custom fireplace, like I was saying. It's kind of formal and romantic. So let me give you the details on this home. This home is 5,850 square feet. It's three levels. There's an ocean view from each level. It's on a, a little under 11,000 square foot lot. So the lot's a very good size. This particular home was uh, fully remodeled by an investment team who we do some work with. Um, this is what we call full studs out remodel. So what they did was they took it took all the drywall off, took it all the way down to the framing, and they rebuilt the entire home with new flooring, new drywall, new windows, new doors, new bathrooms. Everything is brand new. And uh, we currently have the house staged by a lady named Meredith Bauer. I can provide her contact info for you guys if you're uh, interested. She also does interior design. She's, she's awesome. So continuing on, this is the formal entry area. It's got this big foyer. We've got it staged, like I was saying. She decided to put a piano in here, which I thought was a great use of this space. So you walk straight into the kitchen here, um, which is very modern. People love these 
kitchens incorporated with living spaces and stuff like that. So this one actually has a little bit of a living area. We've got the TV set up there with the uh, kitchen. Kitchen has all Viking appliances, microwave, refrigerator. Usually you see a sub zeros. Kind of cool that you got the matching Viking cooktop. They've got a dual dishwasher set up here and then a dual oven set up. This particular home is set up for entertaining, which uh, I think you'll kind of get the gist of over the course of this tour. These are quartz countertops. Um, some other cool things is that's a custom backsplash there. It's all acrylic hand laid glass. So some guy came in here and hand laid each one of these little pieces here. Took quite a bit of time. We got a full LED under lighting there. All the lights are LED. These are some custom uh, cabinets. This home has a theme of smooth curves. So this backsplash and this cabinet combo is very unique, super custom. A lot of people like that. So looking over here, got a little bit of a living TV room, which goes to a little breakfast nook and then out to the deck. I'm not sure how well you guys can see on here, but we do have an ocean view. So there's no little table out here to the deck. Out in front of us is a green belt. That's not a vacant piece of land that's owned by the HOA. No one will ever live there or build there, excuse me. So you can see the Pacific Ocean here. To the right is uh, kind of the north, we're kind of in the north part of San Clemente. Down to the south, you can see some white water down there and actually the, uh, the point, that's Cotton's Point, that's where President Nixon used to live. And uh, that's where famous surf breaks such as Lowers are. Not sure if you guys can hear all the kids playing at the uh, local association pool, but uh, definitely hear them every weekend. Here's kind of a shot looking back out the house. So we uh, we just started our tour of like the mid level. It's a three level home, so I'll take you to the finish the tour of the mid level and then take you to the bottom and then finish with the top. I am currently doing a uh, open house. It's been pretty slow today, but um, if I have to pause for a second because someone comes in hope you guys will uh be okay with that after all i am trying to sell this place so continuing with the tour here this kitchen looking back out to the uh foyer here's a powder bath all the bathrooms have these automatic sensing lights this particular bathroom is really cool. It actually has a uh, floor to ceiling backsplash instead of usual counter to ceiling. So that's kind of a cool detail of this particular bathroom. So we're going down the hall here. Got some cool surfing photos. Here's the first bedroom. That's uh, actually the smallest bedroom. All the bedrooms have their own bath, so they're all end suite. Light should come on, there goes the light. Maybe some of you guys are wondering why there's no enclosure here. Um, with the tub shower combos, a lot of times we like to let the uh, buyer choose whatever type of enclosure they want since this is still a custom home. So continuing down the hall, we got another bedroom. This is my second favorite bedroom in the house because of the view, it has direct access to the uh, same deck that the kitchen does as you can see right here ocean views what was it it's got his own bathroom as well this one just has the shower not the shower tub combo all right guys sorry i had a, a couple walk in that was interested in asking some questions so I think I got through the whole middle level we uh, saw this bedroom here I'll take you downstairs now each level has its own AC unit which is pretty awesome so you can just get level cool by uh, whichever level you're using okay so first room on the left is uh, this wine room honestly though guys this thing could be anything uh, it could be a workout room 
what I think would be awesome is doing some built-ins right here and have like a kegerator or two and then have a big wine rack. Just kind of use this as my beverage room. Could be a great um, workout room though as well, I think. So here's bedroom on this level. Of course, this got its own bath. This one's actually got access to the backyard. The shower, as you can see. This level is pretty cool. It's kind of self-contained in a sense. So you got this uh, little living area down here. It could be a cool TV room. Ocean view from here as well. Direct access to the backyard. You can see the ocean view there. So the reason why I said this could be separate is because uh, you got the bedroom here, living area. You could have your gym, your whatever room there. There's also another powder bath right here. It's got the sensor lights. And then it's a split three car garage. So uh, here's the first single. Got the epoxy floor. And then here's your washroom. And then here's the double epoxy flooring also. It's got some built-ins, some storage down there, kind of like a boat hatch with some storage. So now I'll take you back up and uh, we'll go to the third level and check out the rest of it. All right, guys, let's see if anyone's shown up here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Just notice how cool that mountain view is over there. Here in Southern California, we don't really have too many views like that, so most people are used to looking at the ocean. All right, let's go upstairs now. We've got this really beautiful staircase. <laughs> These big windows, this house is so well naturally lit. Guys, I've got the lights on in here, but it's literally doing almost nothing. So when you get up here, there's a living area here, but we'll get to that next. This is the master bedroom. Closet on your left. I'm assuming that's his closet because you'll see hers in a minute. You got direct access to the deck out here. Nice south view. Nice little sitting area right here. This is actually my favorite part, guys, this slider here. No, I would never stand out there, but you know what I would do? I'd have it open every night, and I'd sleep on this side of the bed and just get that nice, cool air. This is actually one of the first things I do when I come up here is I open this slider up. It just cools down this entire room. Make sure no one's coming. Nope. Here's the master bathroom. So we chose a different type of marble in here. This is a Carrera marble, a little bit different tone, but keeping the similar theme of light and bright. Let's see if we get some lights on. Boom. What's up guys? You see me over there. Dual vanities. It's got a little, you know, makeup spot. This tub is awesome. They make these really cool wood trays that go across i would get that for sure now this shower is what i'm talking about dual head got the fan in there it's nice and big adjustable height on the shower head you can pull that one off i mean you got it all right there toilet and then this is obviously going to be her closet here guys Got all the built-ins ready to go. It's probably not, not enough space for any woman's shoes, but who, what do I know? All right, going back out. Here's a view of the foyer and entryway. Real elegant. Just kind of be like, what do you guys want? What are you doing in my house? Kind of Tony Montana style. All right, getting carried away. Continuing. 
This is the lounge area up here. So over there where the picture is is a perfect spot for your big screen or you could have a projector back in there, which would be so clean. This house is fully wired and set up with uh, speakers, home theater. It's kind of like a smart home. And that big open column right there would be where you keep all your components. So we've got a lounge area there. That sliding door, I always open that up too. That's a nice little area to hang out out there. We got the bar area here, quartz countertop, a little sitting area. Got to accentuate those views, you know? And uh, yeah, you got a spot for all your drinks and drink preparations, stirs, all that. This is where I'd be spending a lot of my time, guys. Got the big windows that accentuate the views. Now let's go out here. Third deck. Just shared with the master bedroom. So we got a sitting area out here. And, uh, yeah, you can just kind of take in those views. If it was clear today, you'd see the islands, you'd see everything. Oh, this gives me a chance to show the uh, dog park, little park right over there. So you got a nice green area to take your dog to. So that's really cool. So if you guys can't tell, I really like this place. I've enjoyed working on this listing and working with these guys a lot of people have a lot of nice things to say about this particular house just hoping i can sell it soon it's it's taken quite a while but uh this is just kind of one of those homes where you need a specific buyer it's um it's a very large home 5850 square feet it's got five bedrooms and six baths but it's really set up for entertaining um it's it's not what most people would call a family home, although it would work as a family home. Um, I think it's just kind of more set up for a couple that has some empty nesters, so it has some, some larger family that needs to accommodate them with the room count, but for the most part, it's only a couple people living here that like to entertain quite a bit. So I'll take you to the final room of the house. It is the fifth bedroom, but we have it set up as an office right now. And uh, here it is. So it is a bedroom, guys. I know you might be thinking it's small, and you're maybe some of you are wondering, well, how do you determine what's a bedroom and what isn't? This is how you determine what a bedroom is. If it's got a closet and a window, it's a bedroom. So a lot of places will have the window, obviously, but they won't have the closet. So if you go in a house and it's three bedroom or four bedroom and they're marketing it, as that, but one of the bedrooms doesn't have a closet, well, it's false advertisement. It's actually a three bedroom or a two bedroom. And yes, guys, this one does have its own bathroom. Love this desk. I actually told the uh, seller that once I sell this place, I want to keep the desk. Hoping he goes for it. See some of the views here. So that's my tour, guys. Again, this is my first one I've ever done. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you want me to do more, um, I have 10 other listings. So I can do this nine, 10 other times with completely different properties that are set up different in different areas. Um, so just let me know in the comments section. Again, I can provide you with the uh, stager interior designer's name in the comment section as well. Her name's Meredith Bauer. Um, it's meredithbauer.com. Not sure what her email or phone number is off the top of my head, but I do have those. And uh, again, this is 90 Marbella in San Clemente in the Seapoint Estates track. Um, this is Gary Ward in, in our listing. Uh, we work out of the Century 21 office on Del Mar and San Clemente. This place is priced at 2.995 million. It's 5,850 square feet on a little under 11,000 square foot lot, fully remodeled, staged. Um, if anyone's interested, my contact info is in the description. We do private showings for anyone that's interested. Um, we do all kinds of consultations and 
yeah so if you guys have any type of real estate questions in the area or just in general please let me know also curious to see what kind of feedback you guys have for this um, i got thick skin so if it's negative or all negative that's okay but uh, i'm just giving this a shot i didn't see too many other videos like this on youtube so uh yeah if there's someone else that does something like this better than me or similar or someone that i can learn from let me know about it all right guys hope uh hope you guys like give me a like and you start following